Let's switch to Zookeeper console as opened earlier. We will try to create a persistent Z node. We are going to create a Z node with our name using the command create space slash cloudxlab space my data. Let's check if it is created by going through the list of Z nodes using command ls space slash. Also, check the data inside Z node using get space slash cloudxlab. To delete a Z node called cloudxlab, we can simply use rmr space slash cloudxlab. You could try creating the Z node with your own login name using create space followed by your own login name. Now, let's try to create an ephemeral node. Switch to Zookeeper console as opened earlier. Create an ephemeral node myEPH using create minus E slash myEPH space some random data. Now exit Zookeeper client by typing quit and pressing enter. Open the Zookeeper client again and check if the node exists or not using ls space slash myEPH. It should throw an error node does not exist. Now let's try to create sequential nodes instead of polluting the top level G node slash. Let's try to create our persistent node first with the name cloudxlab using the command create space slash cloudxlab space my data. Let's create first sequential child with the name starting with x under slash cloudxlab using create dash ash slash cloudxlab slash x space some data. It says created a z node under cloudxlab with name x followed by zeros. If we create another sequential node in it, it would be suffixed with one. Let's take a look at create space dash space slash cloudxlab slash y space some data. It should print created slash cloudxlab slash y followed by zeros and then one. Now, even if we delete previously created nodes using rmr command and try to create another sequential node, the deletion would have no impact on the sequential number. It would continue forward. Let's take a look at create minus s slash cloudxlab slash x space data. As you can see that, the new running number is 2. 